Hey, 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 come on in. Welcome, you guys. Bell Me Cherry's here. Come on in. Um, so today I am here. I have done some damage. Um, and grab some new products and um, we're gonna put these products to good use. Creating a face, I'm not sure which vibe I'm gonna go with, whether it's gonna be a uh, soft glam or like something colorful or something neutral tone. However, we're gonna put the these products on the face today to my best capacity or ability. If you want to see the end result, do stay tuned. And if you're new here, do subscribe. Join the crew. And thank you in advance for subscribing. And for those who have been sticking through with me, juicy kisses to you all. Thank you so much for your support. I grabbed me some few products, new products to me from Ulta. And also online purchase. And we're going to go through them as we get on with the video. So... Let's go ahead and get to it. Alrighty, alrighty. I have grabbed me um, a couple of products here. We are visiting the Morphe brand. I have not been using their products here in a minute on this channel. I love me a Morphe bronzer, a Morphe palette, and Morphe goodies, lippies, and everything. Um, it's been a minute since I've used their foundation. This is one of, this is their newest foundation that just came out, Light Form Extended Hydration Fun Foundation. I grabbed me a shade D thirty two N, not necessarily my shade because, listen, what I assume would have been my shade was gone gone. I went to several stores, nowhere to be found. Um, and that came with a free brush. I was super excited about that. This is a double dual-ended complexion brush. And I believe this part here is for concealer, the bottom, and then the foundation. And they had on display this setting powder. I'm not sure if they made new sizes, but I believe this is normally they're old uh setting powder or bacon set powder they just had them bigger sizes and smaller sizes they split as if they're brand new so i'm not quite sure if they are um i did grab me and i think i noticed i mentioned to you guys on a haul this milani bronzer i am i am yet to use it we're gonna put that together and these palettes i believe came out last year sometimes i grabbed me two um these have bronzer blushes highlights on them i'll show them to you as we go along and um yeah enough rumbling hey, and and the other online damage that i have done were from juvia's place there's a bigger purpose behind this uh, again i will let you guys know i grabbed me most of their brushes except for like two two um volumes i didn't get but by now i should have all of their blushes i should have most of their um matte blushes um i did grab me two of the um blush lighters just to see the difference i don't really care to grab all of their blush lighters but um their blushes blushes though your girl got those bigger pur purpose behind those however we're gonna pop on a, a shade that i have i'm yet to use here on this video so let's get to it this foundation here supposedly hydration light form it says i haven't i didn't even open it yet um <clears throat> i already um moisturized my face and i prime it with the jumbo size continuous setting spray i re-up on that from that part of damage as well um because mine um was highly loved and it's been a minute since i have used it it's just there somewhat like an inch um close to being empty i doubt it'll spray anything at this point 
So this is their new packaging for their foundation. Was this one here, the Filter Effect Focus Foundation. Um, this is the two next to each other. This has also like a frosty uh, fill packaging now with the white cap instead of black. Um, we're gonna go ahead and pop this on let's let me open the brush i do have my preference when it comes to brushes for whichever purpose or whichever stuff i'm doing on the face but i'm open to trying this brush feels super soft we'll see how that goes let's pop this on the back of my hand like i always do Yes, I am all better, you guys. I am in good spirit today. I was a little bit under the weather the past weeks. Um, <clears throat> it feels like I was sick. This is not pumping. It, it feels like I was sick, like, back to back each month. This is really running. This is what it looks like on me. And this is the swatch. Okay. it is the perfect shade it is the perfect shade i didn't think it would be it's a teensy bit it is perfect because mixing all my shades together between the my neck and my you know mid part of the face you barely see it on my skin but i can tell the difference where i place it it is it is perfect i think i the other shade that i was thinking was probably gonna be a teensy bit darker than this i'm glad i got me this is a neutral tone deep 32n so if you're my complexion i was going towards more 33 and um they did not have any of that why listen i did three pump another three pump that just took the whole side of my face. Maybe I was talking distracted and I just put, concentrated it on the, that part besides having it everywhere else. Yo, you guys. Let's take a closer look. Do you guys see? This brush is not one to stamp with. I don't feel because it's like kind of loose. But it's not streaking on the face. It leaves a beautiful glow. It covers my little black spot here from one swipe it feels like i got nothing on what is it supposed to be life form extent hydration i do get the hydration part it's as if i have nothing on but skincare what what is this sorcery you guys Morphe's coming back strong. Did they ever go anywhere? They've just been dormant for a minute. <laughs> I guess. I guess that happens to every every company. Business be booming at one point and stuff happens and goes dormant or never comes back. This is the shade on me, you guys. This is perfection. Love it. I'm going to use the same brush because it is a mid-sized brush, not the regular brush I would use for my foundation, mind you. But we're gonna stamp this on the bronzer to put all over the perimeter. Not even sure if this bronzer is gonna show though. I don't even think it's showing. This is the deepest shade Mocha Moment What's going on with Mocha Moment? 
I don't know. Let's pull this mirror closer so I can see. Do y'all even see Mocha moment on me? No. Milani, what's going on? I don't even see anything. <laughs> and I did take a, a like, went in there. Did I just do something here with the camera? Okay, something just happened with the camera. Sorry about the different angle. Yeah, I tried Mocha moment on 140 on this bronzer it does not even show on me so at arm reach i have this um lys bronzer stick here i'm gonna go ahead and piggyback on that i have not used her in a minute is it me or things are not showing up as they should or maybe something is off let me try another bronzer let's go to fancy I don't know you guys okay foundation is Perhaps the other shade of foundations that I normally use are lighter than this. And that allows all of my bronzer. It shouldn't even be because this is really deep. Espresso. Why is it not showing on top of this shade? Is it me or y'all seeing something? Or I must be much darker today. Okay, so we're going to leave it as that. I'm not gonna struggle with it. I'm matching my neck. I like it though. Let's conceal. For concealer, I'm gonna pull out my oldies from Morphe. The filter effect um, concealer in the shade Deep 34. And I have this one here, C430.35 from my grab um, at TJ Maxx. Um, and that's what I be. And I love this color. Okay, I am seeing the shade of the um, bronzer. Concealer is the perfect shade tone um, that I would need. I'm going to use the bronzer around my nose later on, but I want to brighten up a little bit. Let's, let's use the um, this one, which is much lighter. And let that sit for a minute. Going into blush, we have these beautiful shades here. I got me Pink Lady Soft Tulip. Let me know if y'all want to see a swatch from my end. Because I was doubting. I mean, I hesitated um, doing a swatch with these blushes. Because they're everywhere. Everybody and their mama doing them. Um, let me see which blush shade is on this palette. This is so pretty. So I can know what I'm working with. This is this shade with highlights, with um, a blush, con something I would consider a blush, but it's too pale for me. Probably just eyeshadow. This is the other one. So the names are Solaria and... Floralis, and this is Solaria, 
more up my alley. Okay, let me grab Peach Rose as my blush and Soft Tulip. I normally use Dahlia and um, Pink, Pink Poppy or Perky Poppy. These are the shades that I had first. But let's try this shade. This is like a neon pink type of shade. And I'm putting it on the back of my hand. Yeah, I'm not that crazy. We're going to go ahead and mix that up and go on to the face. I'm going to need a little more because I was afraid with the, the dot. Just put a tinsy bit. Saturated on my brush, that on there. I feel with this foundation, if your oily skin, this may not be your best. Um, well, unless you set it in a particular way but in the heat of Florida with the oily skin this is very very luminous the base is giving me more glossy than like watery hydration I don't know let me know for those who've used this if I'm mistaken because it feels and look like greasy but it feels really great on the skin. So let's go ahead and blend that concealer into the blush. I don't have a sponge ready, but I'm gonna jump back to a regular, what I would normally use as my foundation brush and go in between these shades to blend because that foundation brush, remember I, I put it into the, the, um, the bronzer and it's much darker. I don't want it to get anywhere else darker than what it looks to be. Just plain old clean brush. We're kind of blended. I could use a little more of that blush. We'll um, emphasize that with the blush powder. So here we are. My thought on this um, foundation. It's, it feels really good on the skin. It looks great on camera. Um, not sure how it's going to wear out throughout the full day. If it's going to be running down a marathon down down my greasy face or hold up the test of time um let's finalize everything by setting let me go ahead and miss my face with the um setting spray first this is somewhat a good method if you want to lock in whatever um creamy products you have on the face and melt it all together which will already blend everything but doesn't hurt but i like how the, sh the color looks on me um and the concealers too i stopped using these concealers i don't know why um translucent rich is the shade of the powder that i got this is like I'm not sure if this is gonna be light enough for under my eye we'll try it because you know i don't really go crazy with the powder with like a white powder under the eye i tend to keep it more natural but i think this shade is much more for my uh settings like full face setting powder instead of the under eye let me get another powder y'all remember these yo i was in love with these i had to put them on the side because i didn't want to finish all of them so tell me i got a light light one yeah 
So this one is what I'm gonna use under the eye. This is the Filter Effect Finish Powder um, in the shade seven. I got me 13 and also 15. 13 is like my face. 15 is like bronzer type I use it for, but this under the eye. So let's use the number seven under the eye. Also, let's set everywhere else first. This is beautiful. This is beautifully matte. The concealer is sitting really nice on my under my eye over that foundation. It is not trying. We're gonna set everywhere over this powder, over this foundation. That's kind of I feel like it's too 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 shiny for me I think I could take this under my eye lightly before I go ahead and do my brightening setting powder yeah it's beautiful it oh my god another powder yeah i'm gonna set all over including my brow with that i don't think i'm in the mood for that all of that um shininess from the foundation but that powder Suck out all of that. Really mattified. I really wish this had a mirror. Really mattified the skin. But not in a heavy way though. Not in a heavy way at all. Let's go ahead and use this number 7 powder under my eye. I need to be bronzed up by now. Um, so on here, there is this chocolatey brown shade Night Spell. I can use that, but I don't want to mess this up because I truly want to go back to their good old bronzer. So their good old bronzer, they have discontinued. Do y'all remember these? Do y'all remember these? So we have Glamour Bronze. I have Phenom. I have it in two different packaging. I don't know why, but this is what this one looks like. I think I have another one that's deeper. I know I wasn't the only one going crazy for Morphe at some time in, in life, okay? Um, why do it look so much lighter than what I recall? Hmm okay I, I, i'm not i'm not ready for this video i don't feel ready okay we're gonna use this one i think it looks much lighter than what i recall it to be and there's also this one this was a collab and it has like shimmers to it let's go in with the glamour bronze and the shade phantom and see where we where that takes us yeah nowhere i think i just i was you know when you in love with something you see no wrong by it i'm gonna go with the night spell and i do have me their face palette i just don't want to bring that out right now it's deep, deep somewhere this is what Night Spell look like. It looks closer to, um, it's like a, this is like a contour type of shade because it's somewhat a little grayish and stuff. But I think that's what I need right now. And then I'm gonna put the Glamour Bronze around it. 
pen size is big enough for my bronzer um brush to fit in it and we could just create a little shadow like so around our faces and then have you guys used these palette let me know if y'all have given up on morphe altogether and i'm here in the island of reviving the love for morphe here on this channel i'm gonna i'm putting this one back over everything with the bronzer okay um lightly bronze the face it still looks a little it needs a little color so going into this palette i don't believe these shades can be my blush this is really light and really pale we'll leave that for eyeshadow so since we use that we use what shade we use from um juvia space uh peach rose i'm grabbing volume one mixing these two shades together although it's not the shade similarity that i was going for but let's put the two together we could enjoy that okay y'all could see it from miles away let me go back on my my powder brush and go melt this together soften up the edge of that blush with this powder little reverse contour i did say i was gonna use that bronzer with um the back of that brush or that other side of the brush i'm gonna use it with this powder number 13 i wish i could find a video to show you guys how in love and how far back i last used these powders Let's use the other one because I think I want it to be darker. Yeah. Perfect size for the nose. And this one. The loud light I cannot say a word the lighter powder on the mid part just to blend the um, the edge of these um bronzer you don't want it to be too sharp All right, so we did all that. Um, we brought back all these Morphe goodies. Hopefully y'all get to see and enjoy and you know revisit your good old Morphe products and you know dive back into them. They're still at Ulta, they're still available to grab. They're coming with new products. They have new palettes here and there coming out. They be mudding it though with these collabs, but they're there, child. So on here, there are these highlighters. Um, I don't know which one to use, but I think I might use from this palette, Electrum Sun, and see how that 
looks on me. Do y'all still use fan brushes? What? This is a butter in a pan. This pal this shade looks so pretty on my cheek. It don't even it doesn't even stand out like a regular highlighter. It's just it melts on me. Y'all see it? I could just keep going. Let me add a little, the lighter one, Light Ray is this one. I'm going in. Yeah, y'all seeing Light Ray. Yeah, it's really pretty. Really, really pretty. Love it. Okay, my battery's dying. Let's get this out the way. Let's remelt the face. I'm going to go ahead and do my brows off camera, and I'll be back. All right, lashes are on. Here we are um, with the hair down and everything. She needs to be done. Don't, don't say a word. Not a word on your side, okay? I can hear you talking about me. I can hear y'all. Like, why don't this girl do her hair? I passed my three months mark. I'm stretching a good four month retwist. I play with it a little bit in between the three months, but I really need to do the interlocking. Okay, going with the lips to finalize everything. I have lip glosses from Morphe. You, you see how I be grabbing these things from TJ Maxx and Marshalls like, like they're crack, okay? We have these lipsticks, Sweet Tea Lipstick. Is this a lipstick or lip gloss? That's the lipstick. And I got the, recently grabbed the Sweet Tea Lip Gloss. They're nowhere near each other. Like, how is this Sweet Tea and this is Sweet Tea? It makes no sense. The lip gloss look a little mauve type of shade. And this is the lipstick of Sweet Tea. It makes no sense. Don't ask me, okay? So we're going to use Sweet Tea on the lips. And I'm going to use, of course, their lip liners. Do you see me, aside Juvia's Place, but do you see me using anything else? Trendsetter. Let's give her a good sharpen. Shortest. The shortest thing I've ever Countered. Sweet tea. I mean, trendsetter. We're going to put sweet tea lipstick on. This is the shade. Let's dry her up. This is Sweet Tea Lipstick of Morphe. Nice, soft, matte with Trendsetter. We're going to top it up with the Sweet Tea Lip Gloss that has no, like, no relation in the shade whatsoever. But we want a little gloss. Let's see what the difference is going to be. And we could rock it. I think it's gonna block the nude ish look of Sweet Tea lipstick. No, it's still there. This is juicy.
If you ask me, I am feeling it. Lipstick is sticky. Not sticky to a point it's irritating, but it's the stickiness that I like. I love the shade of the foundation on me. It's different from, I either go either too light, too yellow, make it work, or too dark and make it work. But this, I really feel like it's my true match. It's, 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 it, it works. It works. And um, I like the, the, the color of everything. I like the lips. I like the feel of the foundation. These lipsticks, they're every day at TJ Maxx and Marshall. You you sleeping on them, you sleeping. You're missing out. Um, grab them if you can. They're still at the stores as well. I'm not sure if the new packages have a different dofa to it. Um, I didn't care to find out because I have tons of Morphe lippies here that I'm enjoying already. And I don't care to change for nobody. Okay? Just as this palette, these palettes. I already have a tons of Morphe palettes that I already love, although I'm not using them every day. But I know what they're about. I know, you know, what they got going on. And I don't care to change it. So that's why I'm not too fond of this palette. I have their bronzer. I have their blushes. Do I have blushes? Yeah, from their face palette. I don't really care for these. Um, hold on, this highlight is super nice on the skin but it's not the best shade for the lid for me i want me that powwow shimmer that like this one give me on the lid instead and um yeah let me pull you guys out a little y'all too close up and personal in my business okay so yeah this is the look let me know what you think i'm feeling good i'm feeling myself right now oh um <clears throat> these blushes these highlights from juvia's place you already know what they're about let me know if you want to see a swatch with all the shades that i have i don't care if it's one of y'all that says let me see them i'm jumping on it okay <laughs> but they're here i have bigger purpose for them i'll share that with you in the future and I will go ahead and hop on out of here. The lashes, they're from I Envy, you guys. I have two. And I've been using the other one. And that's what I've been using from my last videos. That the other pair of I Envy. Um, and I, I, I use them until they don't have legs to stand on anymore. Until I don't have a place to put the glue on them anymore. I still have the other pair. I just can't find it right now. So I pop on this new one. But um, these are the type of lashes I like. The one that flares out, give me volume and length. This one is thick enough. It camouflage, like it hides up my craziness lashes because I don't like the thin, transparent, like thin lashes because I need my gangster lashes to, some, something to hold up, to hold them up. And so they could act like they're cute underneath, but they're really not. I, I have... That, that's like my worst issue on my face my these lashes child um so yeah in a fumbling hope you guys enjoyed this look i'm enjoying the lippy i'm enjoying the shade on the face it's not too much blush it's not too much bronzer we're looking juicy natural juicy naturally juicy and i enjoy it all right see y'all on the next one enjoy these videos coming up here on the side i don't know how long this video is and how long i'm gonna have to edit but um give me time it'll come it's coming to y'all and enjoy it when you see it okay thank you once again subscribe if you have not done so and i'll see you next time